What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And starting tomorrow, March the 26th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, the Jester's Festival will begin and this will run until April the 2nd at 10 a.m. If you've participated in the Jester Festival in the past, you will not have to do the starter quest. If you have not participated in this, what you'll need to do is go to the Crown Store. There will be a free starter quest there. You can pick that up and it will give you directions for what you need to do. Once you have completed that uh, quest, you will get a pie that will allow you to get a 100% XP buff for two hours. That will last from tomorrow until April the 2nd, so you can use that every two hours to get 100% XP. If you have completed this quest, you have participated in the Jester's Festival in the past or any other year that you have done it, no matter what year it is, all you'll have to do is go to your memento section uh, on your home screen or you know in the in-game home screen and get that pie from the mementos, uh, from the mementos, and then you will be able to use that pie automatically without doing the quest again. Also, during this event, there will be Jester Festival quests that you can get reward boxes from. And each day, the first time you complete a quest, you will get a gift box that is a you know like a stupendous gift box instead of just your regular package. These stupendous gift box can get Caldwell Kitchen Arm uh, style pages, fragments of two new two mementos. Uh, a few things you can sell to vendors for gold, a rune box that contains cherry blossom branches or some jester mementos, and a new fragment for a show pet. It says guaranteed drops within the first stupendous gift box you open each day. Now, after you have gotten all your stupendous gift boxes, you still can log in with each individual character and get just regular jester gift boxes. So keep that in mind. It's not just something you can do on one character. You can get the regular jester gift boxes on every single character every day that the event is going on. Also, during this event, there will be special um, specific event achievements that you can accomplish while the event is going on. It says the first time you complete a jester festival quest each day, you'll earn three event tickets per account, allowing you to earn a total of 24 throughout the event period. During the event, of course, the uh, the vendor will be there where you can get your Endric feathers, uh, your berries, all that kind of stuff, and also new group repair kits that will allow you to repair worn gear for group members in your zone. So those as a new thing that the event vendor will be carrying. It says this is your chance to acquire the final berries needed to evolve your Endric into the ghostly spectral Endric mount. Of course, this is a festival of fun that's going to last, like I said, guys, from March the 26th until April the 2nd. Starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow, March the 26th, and runs until 10 a.m. on April the 2nd. A great time, in my opinion, if you're leveling up new characters or whatever the case may be, to get that XP. So if you're looking to grind out a new character, you're just wanting to do some fun events, this is a great time to do that. So be sure that you hop in tomorrow and check out the jesters festival of course if you like the video guys make sure you hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so if you are a subscriber make sure you click the bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live if you have a chance share the video it does help out the channel a lot and be sure to check out gt racing they are the affiliate here for the channel they sell gaming chairs and office chairs and all their information is linked down in the description and i'll catch you next time peace